Hey everybody, BK Stunt here for Dead Space 3. This is chapter 2. And this chapter is super short compared to chapter 1. And the video says it's only not even 11 minutes. So yeah, really short. And we got a full inventory. I got nothing to put anything else in. And there's stuff here too, like this uh, medium med pack over here. Can't really interact with uh, Carver, but here's a video log or audio log. I'm on patrol. Make this quick, all right? It's his birthday. Ah, shit. Is that Dad? Thanks for the present, Dad. When are you coming home? Soon. Okay. I love you, Dad. Who wants to play soldiers? You gave him a soldier. John, he idolizes you. Well, you better get that idea out of his head. You got that? I gotta go. Love you. Huh. I'm wondering if that's his wife. Hard to tell. There's a med pack over there on the bed. It's a good audio log. Some ammo. Let me just full. I'd rather have ammo than small health packs though. There's some more ammo by the on the table and by the orange juice over here. Get me some OJ. So you can't even throw things at Carver. Thirteen days ago, Agent Ellie Langford and her team attempted a blind shock to an uncharted planet. She believes it holds the secret to stopping this marker epidemic, but we've been unable to make contact. And there's some cabinets up here. Is finding and securing Agent Langford and her team. We're starting to get resources now. You saw that was some uh, medigel or whatever the heck they call it. Which is what it is. It's used to make med packs and some other stuff. Some upgrades. Now here, they want you to go left, but let's go down this long ass corridor. Trust me, you want to. Not a bad thing. I just make it sound bad. And at the end, we got some ammo and a uh, artifact. Sweet. See, we're going through uh, warp speed or something. You see the vortex out there? That's pretty cool. We'll get a scene here. Fifteen seconds to target. Standing by to D-shot. All right, people, we're going in blind, so stay tight on that exit vector. Rosen, count it out. Exit beacon locked. D-shocking in five, four, three, two, one. What the hell is that? The moon. What's left of one? Rosen, I see it. This is a junkyard. It's more like a graveyard. Any sign of Ellie's ship? I'm reading several transponders, but none of them are ours. According to the registry, they're sovereign colonies warships. You serious? They'd be over 200 years old. Wait, wait. I'm getting something. It's an SOS coming from that ship dead ahead. The CMS Roanoke. It could be Ellie. Yeah, let's hope so. All right, Rosen, close to 500 clicks. Aye, right, sir. Lights. The beacons? Hang on. No. My! Rosen, get us out of here! Collision warning. Brace for impact. Oh, well, shit. <laughs> hey. 
And of course, run forward. Small scene. And off we go. Down the hallway. Again. Much worse circumstances this time. Oh shit. Yeah, there's nothing you can do right here. Now we're on our side, it seems. Keep going, keep going. something else okay so here we are in outer space and there's several boxes floating in the area so you can shoot them and collect the uh, goodies inside or you know TK them and break them that way okay. I can see the room. and once you get to the objective you want to use TK to pull the arrows or the clamps away from the box which will open this little console thing and you have to go manually interact with it you'll see this scene and right here you gain control and this is your basic free falling slash keep the heck out of the way of the debris and mines mini game more or less mines. you can aim and shoot the mines if you want it's entirely possible to get through this without shooting any of the mines Isaac, where are you? just makes it that much easier oh yeah I just got hurt and I think if you're playing impossible or something, that would be an instant kill. There's some mode you can play where that's an instant kill. These are reportedly the hardest sections of the game when you're doing that. Jesus. Let's not do that again. Can you make it to that cargo dock? Yeah. Yeah, you think there's air on board? Ellie's SOS is coming from somewhere inside, so let's hope so. So here we are outside the Roanoke. There's some air here if you need it. But you probably don't. It's way too early for you to need air. They also have air tanks floating out in space that you can uh, TK to you and use, which is very handy. We got one more, uh, one more artifact we're going to get for this chapter, and it's located inside this, what it looks like a spaceship docking station. In the depths of it, you'll see this glowing object. That is a SCAF artifact. Oh God! It looks like the power's out everywhere. No way to I see they're at one boarding dock, but they can't get through, so we're going to have to go in the other one and let them in. 
Here's an example of the air tank. Snake is online. I met that guy through GameFAQs. Good guy. I think we met when we when I was playing uh, Lords of Shadow. Anyways, once you get through this door, it will basically start Chapter 3. So I'm going to uh, sign off for now. So, uh, yeah, come. I've seen a lot of ships. Go play the Chapter 3 video already. Okay guys, thanks for hanging out with me. When they lost the Later. War to Earth Gov, they scuttled their entire fleet. Surprised any survived. What were they doing this far from home anyway? If this is where Ellie went, you can bet it had something to do with the markers. 